here, fellas. Got this set up like an operating room in here with the uh, welding blankets. Got that sealed off. Got it clamped off for the first weld right here. I'm gonna, I, originally I thought well, I'd work my way from top down, but I'm actually thinking I'm gonna do the, the uh, sides first. That way I can just lay, lay the two, like one up there and then one on the rim. And then I can do the whole welds up here and then go back down to the bottom. Um, but yeah, we're gonna see how this works. I don't know, maybe this might work. Let's see. Okay. Wait, where's my button? There it is. So, let's see here. Here we go. Almost got him. Just gotta do a little touch up on it. Okay, paint's definitely gonna be a problem because it's gonna wanna catch on fire. Need to clean a little bit more around it. But that's, that's not bad. Looks like I made more of a hole than anything. Um, all right, Let's move down to the second one. Try to get it a little bit tighter than that. Okay. That wasn't bad. In and out. Didn't quite feel the feel it around though. Actually, I might have to get in trouble because I got the house open to keep me cool around here, so. All right, I'm gonna get better, I'm gonna get better. Just need to get a couple in. All right, checking out these two welds here. This one was doing great. The puddle formed and, and I was able to make my circle and connect all the sides. But then I think what happened was I didn't, I didn't clean the, uh, around the, the weld spot enough and it got a little contamination from some some paint or some primer or something and that caused it to make that big puddle uh, hole in it and I believe the same thing happened here so I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this one off a little bit more and hopefully we can remedy that my grinder is in here okay let's get a good clean Grind on this one. All right, that looks pretty good. See, there's a little bit in that edge there. That's what bothers me. See if we can do better with these two. Right. 
I mean, the heat spike from the, uh, the weld isn't really going past maybe more than a quarter inch, so. Looks like we might be all right on that part as far as when we get to where it's more sensitive areas with the paint that I'm trying to save. So, yeah, grab my glove. Turn back on. Oh, it's hot out here. Jeez, I'm Pete's. I'm going to be sweating my butt off today. Okay. Try again. Oh, yeah. we got to clamp it. Jed, clamp it. All right. Let's do good this time. Get a pool started in the middle. And we'll go around the outside. Whoa. Got him too hot. Okay, I got it turned up too much is what the problem is. Pretty sure. Yeah, it burn a burn a big hole out. Hey, but did good right there. Shoot. Yeah, let's turn the heat down. Let's try C and five and a half. Seems about right. Now, let me just move down to the next one. Maybe a big well there. <laughs> Real big wheel. It's not working too good. Oh boy. Oh, that's way better. I can control that. I did, I was, I was going a little bit faster, trying to make sure I didn't get too much heat. Eh, got a little, little, little burr there. All right, I'm turning down a little bit more. Uh, we're gonna go to B and four. I think I'm getting close though. Let's get this out the way. Sure, this corner's pinched down. And it's just my sanding disc. You know, it's not a it's not a grinder, and it works a lot better because we don't really take any metal away. We're just doing the uh, paint primer. Okay, how are we doing over here? Are we burning it real bad, no? Had a little smoke on it, but other than that. Okay. I got to get good right here because before I get too far, I don't want to be messing nothing up. Okay. I'm clamped. All right. Let's see if I can get you back in there again. Because it's interfering with me a little bit here.
Okay, more control, but... <sighs> I'm still burning. It's just, this metal's just too damn thin, man. Compared to everything else, it's having to put a lot of heat to get, put a lot of heat to get penetration on everything else. I noticed that on the Ranger when I was working on it. Hmm. All right, let's, let's do one more right here. So damn thin, it's wanting to uh, blow it out as I go further along. That's some booger wells, but got to get down a little bit of a technique. And so far, this this last one's the best. Oh man, yeah. But the further you go, the worse it gets. I'm gonna get the hang of it though. Before I get too far along, hopefully. Alright, so here's my welds. I'm not I'm not gonna hide anything. I ground them down. And you got definitely got some porosity in that one. Definitely melted away from the core weld there. Same way here. Melted away. Getting a little bit better. Getting some connection there. A little bit better, but it's making some donut holes. And then this one, this one's almost perfect. It's just a slight uh, divot around the rim. I still think it's connected, but it just shows a little, uh, little uh, it's hard to see in the light. You can see the top and bottom there. So I'm going to go back and just quickly tack them and try to fill that in and make it right. You know, I've only got a handful of hours welding, so I'm not no professional here. But I'm learning, and I'll get it. So. Make that start to be a problem. Still up Good set of scale there. Right. Maybe it'll get some more air to it. Oh, love. Get a donut hole in my hand here. Or a sunburn one or two. Much of an improvement or deeper. 
I've made on this. Touching all the way down, but it's it's burning back home. All right, we can check on Matt. Catch y'all later.